We have responsibility for anyone who signs up to protect our country, to protect our home and our freedom. We have the responsibility to help take care of them because they go through a lot mentally, mentally physically, emotionally. Uh, things they see that they wish they'd never seen. And uh, it, it has a significant impact on them psychologically. And so they come back here and they're trying to readjust to the life they were accustomed to before they left. And it's a difficult challenge for them. Where veterans uh, sit around and talk about uh, coming back from Vietnam, uh, they uh, kind of uh, went into a shell and uh, did not talk about it. And uh, that uh, conflict is 50 years old now, and they're still walking, some, a lot of them still walk around with that. I, I think, uh, by and large, cognitive behavioral approaches um, are work better. It's impossible to, to, I think, effectively shut down those kinds of intrusive thoughts pharmacologically without so incapacitating the person that they can't function. Accountability for our nurse healthcare workers, not just our nurses, but our docs, and everybody that's taking care of them. They need to be held accountable. If they're showing a bias and they're being disrespectful, till we've been in their shoes, we can't judge them. So it's not for us to judge, it's for us to help them. I think the biggest part for overcoming any bias like that is remembering that we're all people. Um, we all may not have a drug addiction, but we all fight something. Um, nobody's no better than anybody else, regardless of if you're a doctor or a nurse or if you're homeless and happen to use drugs. I think understanding that that comes from a place of total hopelessness as to how the they ended up there. You know, nobody wakes up one day and is like, I'm gonna become a drug addict. Uh, so total about 22 service members pass away from suicide uh, every day in this country. There have been many wee hours of the morning. I've talked to a few people. And, you know, it's, but it, it happens all the time. I mean, I've lost nine friends to combat-related stuff and probably twice that number to suicide. Probably four months ago was the latest one. You need to tell the veteran, you know, let them know up front there is help and it's okay to ask for help. There are suicide um, prevention numbers, counselors, things that, that information we can give them um, in addition to watching them in the hospital for suicide um, issues as well.